guys Kiro back with another video on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and today of course as you guys know I have been using the latest Oxygen OS so I'll be like doing a kind of full review of this ROM and over here I would say my experience has been pretty good with this ROM not bad at all and this is the OnePlus 5T's Oxygen OS not the OnePlus 7 Pro's so the first thing you will notice over here is the like launcher of course because Whenever you go to the home screen, this is what you see. So this is important. So let's talk about it. This launcher is the straight up like Oxygen OS launcher over here. And to the left, we get the Google Now cards. And if you go into the settings from here, you will see these kind of options. The normal Oxygen OS like options. We have the home screen layout and stuff. You can put the icon size a little bit bigger and like change the columns and stuff over here as you can see. So these options are there and I'm using the gestures over here, not the like buttons, the on-screen buttons. And you can change the icon packs to this one plus round or square. And over here we have the notification dots option too. So if you're like into it, this is there. And in terms of the app drawer, we have the all apps section over here. And you also have a quick search option if you need that. And leftmost screen, which is the Google like now, or you can have the one plus shelf too, if you need from here and double tap to lock anywhere on the home screen is there and it is working fine over here that is really great and swipe down anywhere on the home screen as you can see is there and we have the like add icon to home screen and stuff so we have this kind of swipe down anywhere on the home screen then you can directly double tap on the home screen to like make the phone into sleep and you can see the unlocking speed with the fingerprint scanner from here as you can see not bad it's fairly fast i would say when compared to other roms it is pretty fast but you do see the lock screen animation over here whenever you are unlocking the device. Let me talk about the cameras. Well, yeah, the cameras are not perfect over here, of course. And the stock camera, well, as you can see, this is what you see most of the time. If you use the Oxygen OS camera, you will see these back black screens and stuff. And over here, as you can see right now, it is back. And I can click a picture and as you can see, it works fine like sometimes it does work sometimes it doesn't so do not rely on that that's all i can say do not rely on the stock like oxygen os camera now the second thing which is present by default over here is the miui camera well as you can see sometimes it does show that the camera error and you have to restart the device to fix that and things like that so again do not rely on the stock cameras over here the camera you should rely on is the Google camera which is not present by default but you can install Google cameras if you want to because camera to pay is pre enabled but every time you open Google camera you will see that it is working fine like it does work most of the time better than any other like cameras which are present by default so I would say do install Google camera if you are using this ROM so that would really help you I guess now let's talk about like some more things the features of this Oxygen OS over here if we go into the display settings we have the auto brightness or adaptive brightness which we also get over here as you can see if i tap this button it will like go to the auto brightness i'm not doing that because of the lighting and stuff and we have the sleep timer and stuff you can change it and night mode is working fine you can change the intensity of it as you can see let me go back we have the reading mode and stuff which makes the display like grayscale kind of i think i don't know and screen calibration is there if you need like the srgb dc ip3 etc color options are there for this rom and also we have the ambient display but it does not work i have tested it it does not work for me and over here we have the themes you can change this to like totally dark theme it will take a little bit of time to change it but this is how it looks like in the dark theme as you can see totally like pure amulet dark but the display is ips so i would not recommend you using this dark theme light theme is pretty decent for me now let's talk about the colors the ui accent colors over here and as you can see we do have these many accent colors and you can also change like in custom i think as you can see we have a bunch of colors over here so a lot of customizations in terms of this like colors over here are present and let me go back we have the like led i did not see the led popping up so i would say that it does not work as of right now and over here in terms of fonts we have the roboto and oneplus slate font over here and status bar we have the battery style customization we have the battery bar circle and the hidden battery then we have the battery percentage showing up option and display network speed indicator over here on top as you can see and then we have the icon manager the status bar items over here we have the vault e headset bluetooth etc like status bar icons and it shows up fine no complaints regarding those let me go back 
then we have sound settings now in terms of sound we have this earphone mode as you can see but one thing that i may talk about is that like we have this like equalizer over here and i'm not kind of sure that if it's actually working because i could not figure out the differences but i would say the sound output via the headphone jack is pretty decent it's pretty loud not bad at all the sound quality via the wired earphones are pretty great but i would say if you connect any kind of bluetooth device like bluetooth audio device i would say i felt that the sound output via a bluetooth audio device is kind of a little bit low to my liking it's just a tad bit low but do not get me wrong it's not bad at all the sound quality over here is pretty great and we have the screenshot sound and stuff you can disable it from here and let me like go to the battery settings and this is how it looks like and in terms of battery life well here is the screenshots and as you can see i have got about seven plus hours of screen on time so i have no complaints regarding the battery life over here in this room i would say i did play pubg and stuff you can see the app lists from here uh, these apps I, I have been using like for for this usage and it got me through like almost seven plus hours of screen on time and even then i had 20 percent juice left so i would say the battery life is not bad it's pretty good i would say and we have the buttons and gestures and from here we have the alert slider options so you do not need to use it because simply we do not have an alert slider on this device so what you do like to put the phone into silent you just go to this edit toggle and add this toggle which is the oxygen West sound profile you will find it somewhere over here while you are editing it's not present by default on the quick toggles you have to add it from there then once you do that as you can see we have the ring vibrate and silent mode but i would say even in silent mode i felt that like sometimes it does vibrate and over here navigation gestures are there as you can see these are the navigation gestures for this like one plus thing as you can see these are pretty smooth and like i would say these are pretty fluid and going back and stuff from the sides this is pretty much working fine and we have the quick turn on camera and stuff i disabled those things face unlock i would say yes i did set up face unlock and it does work fine but one thing about the face unlock that i want to talk about is whenever your eyes are closed even then it unlocks the phone so that may be kind of a security issue but i would say that's how it is if you go into security and go to smart lock and from the face recognition stuff if you set up your face unlock it should be working fine from here you don't need to worry about it now let me go back we have the utilities mode then we have the gaming mode parallel apps app lock and stuff is there so i would say app lock is working fine as you can see i did lock whatsapp and if i tap my favorite scanner now it will unlock so app locks are working fine now over here and pocket mode is there and this works fine too schedule power on off i did not test it so i can't confirm one plus switch and stuff those things are there let me go back if you go into system and let me show you that if you enable the developer options from the about section over here you have to tap on the build number seven times and if you do that you will find the developer option in system and once you go there just like scroll down and enable this advanced reboot and once you do that you will find the advanced reboot over here you will get the power off restart directly reboot to recovery bootloader and the screenshot option is there too so these things are there and google keyboard is present by default over here by the way so this is how the rom is working and i would say the rom is like pretty smooth fairly smooth to my liking and in terms of pubg let me show you so whenever you launch pubg this is what you get the gaming mode over here and as you can see this just shows up on the screen so that like it puts your notification and stuff like it kind of like mutes your notification and stuff so you have to just tap ok to start the game so in terms of pubg graphic settings you can play on up to hd and high settings you can go either balanced or like smooth too if you want but i'll just like switch to the hd and high no hdr options are present by default over here of course let me click ok and start a like tdm or something So as you can see the gaming performance is not bad it's pretty much fine now let's talk about the other things like vaulty calling and stuff yes vaulty calling is working fine so as you can see vaulty calling is working fine and let me show you 
as you can see it's like working and you can also record the calls and stuff if you want from here you can just go back like this and here is the end to score on this rom now one thing that i want to talk about again is the google pay well yes the google pay does not work by default it will show that it it won't work the device is rooted and stuff but if you really want to set it up let me show you if you go into the settings and apps and notifications then go to see all apps and from here just find the google play services from here so here is the google play services just go to it and then permissions then from here just disable the phone and sms app permission you can disable it once and then go home and set up your google pay once you have like done the setup and you are fine like you are good to go just re-enable the phone and sms app again otherwise it will sh it will show up a notification or something like that so just enough like disable the phone and sms app permission whenever you're setting up a banking app google pay does work after like disabling phone and sms app permission from google play services now let me show you the app from speeds and the ram management over here let's open this file explorer facebook twitter play store youtube Instagram now let's open this Mifi app it does take quite a lot of time to open now let's open all the apps from memory again and as you can see the apps are like getting removed from memory Facebook is in memory but Chrome and File Explorer wasn't Twitter is in memory Play Store is not in memory youtube again removed from memory now let's open this me feed up yes it is in memory now let's open instagram yes it's been removed so i would say the ram management is not that great when compared to other roms but yeah this is a 4gb ram variant of the redmi note 5 pro and you should not expect like too much ram management too good of ram management over here i would say and as you can see you can like switch between apps just like this it looks really really good and as you can see or you can just like tap and like swipe up and hold and like switch between apps just like from here and over here let me show you if you tap on this you can lock a app in memory then we have split screen and apps info from here if you want to go split screen and stuff default android pie stuff so i would say you can definitely flash this rom if you want to if you want to flash this rom here is a card for you and check that card out like i have a detailed video about flashing this oxygen os on the redmi note 5 pro currently this is based on a pie firmware so yeah that is really great that this comes with the pie firmware and i have to say the usage experience of this rom is not quite as good as the other like custom roms but i would say if you are like okay with like the things i said and if you can compromise on the cameras and some stability issues you can definitely flash this rom and one thing let me show you i did not flash magisk over here and if i try to go to recovery let me see if it actually goes to the recovery or not so as you can see i did not flash magisk over here but it does boot into recovery so that is it as you can see let me reboot to system again and one thing is really great that after the reboot you do not have to enter your pin to like unlock the device you can just tap the fingerprint scanner to unlock the device so like always unlock with the fingerprint scanner does work here we have our boot animation pretty good so that is how much time it takes for a reboot or something you can calculate and as you can see it shows over here that it like i have to put my fingerprint or the pin so i'll just put my fingerprint and as you can see it unlocks even after a reboot so gets a big thumbs up from me thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tiro from kerry and tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now